That's not it. Certainly is. Is it? Is. 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 Oh, Try again. Oh, Hold on. on. Here you are. <laughs> Booker! You've got to stop them! No, that's not it. No, that is certainly it. No, it's not. It is. Isn't it? Is. Isn't it? Is. Try again. No, you try. Stop it! Stop it! You don't Here know you what are. you're doing! Ha! Huh. There it is. No. You've done it now. He's, he's coming back. He's coming back. The notes were correct. The instrument was not. One needs both to get his attention. But if you know how to sing to him... He will take you where you need to go. Who are you? We are where we are needed. And needed where we are. So Comstock uses these songs. Are there others we can use? Something to keep the bird off our back? Perhaps you should ask the maestro himself. So where is he? Of course. Well, at least they left the piano. Booker. That's Comstock House. If we're gonna find him, we should start there. The Vox are coming! We need to leave the dock! Where are these people going? Wherever the Vox populi ain't. Much obliged. it about that song that brings in the bird? It always has. When I was younger, I used to be excited when I heard it. Excited? He was all I had. He fed me. Brought me books. He was my friend. Friend? Until I grew up. And I hated him. Because he was my warden. He's just Comstock's pet, isn't he? Just like me. There. It's, it's worse no better than Comstock. Was she? Uh, once people get their blood up, it ain't easy to settle it down again. Magic is rubbing off on you. We shall not be
Something's right up your alley. It's done. I just realized who those two are. They, well, at least she invented the technology that allows the city to float. Giant balloons. Quantum particles. Suspended in space-time at a fixed height. So, not giant balloons? But the thing is, my book said they disappeared several years ago. I told you they'd come. No, you didn't. Right. I was going to tell you they'd come. But you didn't. But I don't. Are you sure that's right? Something tells me they're not exactly what they appear. I was going to have told you they'd come? No. The subjunctive? That's not the subjunctive. I don't think this syntax has been invented yet. It would have had to have been. Had to have been. They seem to want to help. They seem to be out of their minds. Odd, isn't it? What's odd? The fact that we sometimes... Finish each other's sentences. Exactly. It would be odder if we didn't. Hmm. How do you suppose they manage that? I'll get back to you after I figure out the floating city bit. Come on. Comstock House is up ahead.
Open it. no more than 20 feet away. Let's hope we find one of those fools. This might be it. Why are you so keen on lockpicking and code breaking? If you put a person in a cage, they develop an interest in such things. I suppose so. And I won't be locked up again. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you promise me. I will stop him. No. That is an oath you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It won't come to that. All right.
your alley. Back there at the shop, what you asked me to do... Let's not discuss it. No, what did that thing do to you? If he were to take me back, that's death, Mr. DeWitt. Or something so like it, I cannot tell the difference. Mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. <laughs> Now, it's your mother. 
mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up the screen. Is she alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as a true loss, what reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. Do it! On it! It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm.
Elizabeth? Seems easy enough. Ready. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non existent. And Madame Lutas. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? Elizabeth. All done.
their patents? All of them, Mr. Fink. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's...
technology. Comstock used me to bring you back, but I brought back a version of you from the reality that I had built up in my own head. He pretended to love you, like he pretended to love me. I am not your husband's bastard. I am his victim. My days of victimhood are done. We must forgive each other. Because there is one far worse than you, Rob. Kill me because you wouldn't keep his secret. Wipe away the debt! debt. 